The Nation of the Roaring Lion Freshly brown, filled with Ethiopia's fertile soil, Abai, also known as the Blue Nile, is the king of all rivers around the world. Hailing out of Ethiopia, no matter from which angle you look at it, there is an unspoken spiritual connection that is felt in the presence of Jis Abai. Walk across the skinny metal bridge some 100 feet above the partially split waters of Jis Abai to get close to not just this overwhelming, captivating waterfall, but the communities that reside alongside it. It is not only the source of a lifeline for Ethiopia, but for the many neighboring countries. Its vastness is deceivingly covered with natural vegetations as it rapidly cascades through Ethiopia before moving on. Where there is water, there's all sorts of beautiful life.
from innocent children playing, singing, and gathering around to welcome tourists to their natural, unfiltered environment, with smiles on their faces, to a girl running down a picturesque countryside with her pretty dress, Ethiopia is simply a breath of fresh air. Offering some of the most eco-friendly waterfront resorts and hidden in the beauty of coffee plantations, to highlands of historic and biblically referenced vacation spots, found in Ethiopia is a world-class, clad with luxurious, true to its settings, with rare amenities, as well as some of the most unique experiences one can access in Ethiopia. Giving off the feel of being on an island with bright and colorful flower gardens and deep mountainous background, this is for those who want to discover their souls and be in the center of what God naturally gives and not what man offers. With mountains that look like oil paintings rather than real life settings. Ethiopia is truly a rarity. Close your eyes and imagine dipping your feet and hands in the warm, infinite waters at the shores of waterfront resorts where vacation is a natural paradise and nature is respected and not disrupted. This is where one comes and cleanses his soul from the hustle and bustle of life, wherever that may be. Ethiopia is where modern meets traditions refined. እንግዶች ቱሪስቶች ወደዚ ቻገር ፍሰታቸው እንዲጨመር ያደረግንበት ምክንያቶች በአብዛኛው የተፈጠሩ ነገሮቻችንን መጠቀም መቻላችን ነው እኛ የሰራነው ነገር አለ በሲመሰ ሲኖር የነበረው ናቹራሊም የተፈጠሩት ነገሮችን በጥንቃቄ እየተጠበቀን በተለይ ደግሞ ከዚህ ሃይክ ጋርና ከአባቢው ላይ ካሉ አዋፋትም ይሆኑ ተለያዩ አዋፋት ደሞ ሊኖርባቸው የሚችሉ የተፈጠሩ ጸጋዎችን ባጠቃላይ ውብ አድርጎ ይዞ የተገኘበት ሁኔታዎች ናቸው ያሉትና ለእንግዶቻችን ትንሽ አትዋን ኢትዮጵያ የምናሳይበት የተለያዩ የገጠሩን ዓለም ደግሞ ማሳየት የምንችልበትን ትላልቅ ነጸብራቅ የሚሆኑ ነገሮችን አሳይተናል ብለን እናስባለን ስለዚህ ቱሪስቶች መተው ደግሞ በዚህ የሚደሰቱበት ሁኔታዎች አመቻችተናል even የሎካል ዶሞስቲክ የሆነው የቱሪስት ቱሪስቶቻችን ራሳቸው ወደ ሌላ ሀገር ከመሄዱ ረፍቶቻቸውን ወደኛ አካባቢ መተው ቢያደርጉ ሌላ አካባቢ ላይ ሊያገኙ የሚችሏቸው እንደውም በበለጠ ያገራችንን ነገር ተፈጥሮ ነገር ተጠብቀን በተሻለ መልኩ ያደረግንበት ሁኔታዎች ስላሉ እነሱም ቢመለከቱ ወደኛ ቢመጡ የተሻለ ነገር ያገኛሉ የተሻለ ረፍትም ያገኛሉ ብለን እናስባለን this house shows lalibala traditions typical lalibala house and when i start uh... I have decided that it has to be a traditional house and try to make both outside and inside traditional except the bathroom stuffs. In the old time they have two stories on the on the bottom for the animals on the top for living rooms. Nowadays still you can see them around the churches. People lives in both uh, up and downstairs. One family sometimes downstairs and upstairs another family so we try to keep a traditional way this is uh, the lodge de chateau Uh, whereby located close by the castle complex it's a newly built lodge uh, it's quite uh, environmentally friendly in a way what we built is quite uh, with the local stuffs with the local materials which is available in the surrounding most of the guests are most i would say from germans and uh, english people uh, are french and uh, americans uh, it's the idea is to encourage the travelers and backpackers traveling in ethiopia 
with having uh, uh, good facility and accommodation. As the various representatives of resorts, hotels, and lodges explained, they've seamlessly managed to build facilities that are set within their natural habitats, yet are of modern architectural design with traditional ties. <laughs> A walk of peace and serenity will lead you to your Gollum. In the densely green with various vegetation region of Sidamo in southern Ethiopia. And the woman who defies any notion that a woman is not capable to lead her household by showing us the intense and hardship that goes into making one of the staple food from the insect plant, also known as fox banana plant. With a massive, beautiful grass hut home, situated in the midst of the family's insect plantation, one of the things that Almas does so well is chop down an insect plant to make her family and visitors alike food. This tediously rigorous routine might look easy to the naked eye, but it is one of the toughest jobs one can be tasked with, let alone a woman of Almaz's age. Ocho, which requires an additional process and an extensive fermentation period, takes roughly three to four weeks to cook underground. <laughs> Ombocho can be made instantly with further massaging and squeezing of excess water until it's dry enough to separate the snow white powder like flour, which then is cooked into thin tortilla bread. This thin bread can be eaten, rolled up alone, as I did, with kit foe inside it like a wrap, or it can be used similarly as injera to eat all other dishes, as well as served as finger food to eat when drinking coffee. I fell in love with Almas for what she exemplified, sharing the same name and resilient characteristics as my mother. She is the type of Ethiopian woman we often don't get to see. Almas is the face and ambassador of the Sudamo region's cultures and traditions. I love it. This is like Njara. In the same setting as Almas are vacation places such as Aragash Lodge. With emphasis on traditions, cultures, and unique experiences, the lodge's architectural design is the traditional home that people of Saddam will live in. For the owners, the lodge is not just a lodge. It's a place where Saddam's cultures and traditions are carefully curated like a museum. It is a living museum where art is the important tool used to preserve the culture and history which is articulated throughout the lodge with exterior mural paintings and local decorative furnishings. ይኛንዴት <laughs> Yeah, Albasat and Tano, Lemisalia, Huni, Sidama, Ye Bonfa, 
የወንዶች ልብስ አለ ግን ጥለቷ ተክ ተወስዳ በሴቶች ስካርፍ ደሞ አዲስ አበባ የተሰራ ስለላለ እሱ ደሞ እኔ አውቄ ወደ ግድግዳ ላይ የግድግዳ ጌጥ አድርገዋልሁና ሁሉ ሰው ደስ ብሎት ያይበሉት እና ምን እንደሆነ ደሞ ስነግራቸው ይበለጠ ያውቁታል ማለት ነው እና ደስ ይላል ማለት የራሳችን ሀገር ስናስተዋውቅ በዘመን ግድ ይበለጠ ቆንጆ ነው ሲሄዱ ማለት ዘመዳቾ ቤት ገብቶ እንደወጡ መቅጠር አለባቸው ነው እንጂ እንደ ቢዝነስ ቦታ አይደለም ዋና ውስጥ ነው ማለት ገብቶ ያው የተከፈተለ እነሱ ነው እነሱ ደሞ ከዚህ ሄዶ ሙሉ ደስተኞች ሆኖ እንዲወጡ ነው ምን ምን ይፈልግ Saint Ethiopia through a foreign eye one that was covered with a lie a foreign eye that believed the stories that this land is nothing but desert but driving through Ethiopia my foreign eye is mesmerized by what it is constantly encountering it is taken by the beauty of this mystical land from its rich history to traditions and wealth of culture an enchanting place where people come together to celebrate and give thanks to the Lord for their daily bread not in a fancy mega church but under a tree a culture so rich no amount of visual description of it would ever truly express its pricelessness and wealth this is a nation where people's love of their culture is tattooed on them It's not a trend, it's a lifestyle. It's an artistic expression of appreciating something that's authentically theirs. A nation whose citizens' kindness is innate, hence inviting anyone to come join them in their celebration of gratitude. Sharing their blessings with those that are blessed to come across them. Describing her tattoo on her face. <laughs> የጠንደልጅነት እንግዲህ እንዳመር ምን የሚባለው ባህል ነው እንደዚያ ነው Welcome me to join in their celebration I was poured a big cup made of squash full of homemade beer not just any kind of beer this is organic non-alcoholic very sweet and full of nutrients as it is made of from barley honey and other helpful ingredients i hardly wanted to stop drinking it feeling at home i asked ramen endem idarak ya prarone yo ngid bora min tattaw yehen bete christianachin christian selohne dres yehen bete christian semen yeho bor bor yan dandachin tatatalal malat yan min kaflo yan uqawun yewlichet allo aydalla aybeder yehullum tikkil argen min kaflo እና እንደዚያ ነው ምን ተጣደተ ማለት እና ደሞ አለባበሶቹ እንትነግሩኛላችሁ ስለሱም ትንሽ ተደረገ አለባበሱ ነገር ነው ስለሱም አይ ታገናይ ተ አዎ ለደም መዳኛ ለስጋችን መጠገኛ ይሄ ሰንበት ያምንበት ማለት ነው አዎ ይሄ ነው while sitting under a tree to celebrate and praise one's particular god may seem unique to christians in the north it is also done in many parts in the south my journey in ethiopia also took me to the town of yabelo in the oromia region on my quest to uncover and learn more about ethiopia the oromo culture in the Gada system. In this region, the way one looks from head to toe has a meaning, a purpose, and sends a very explicit message. To those that know the culture, nothing is left unsaid. Everything is spoken for and protected. 
even when words are not used. Adan tin tuna ada dan sa ada gari ada tana kisi nu kunufa kunufa mtu barbana kisi ni mbanda barbana chu. In preserving and protecting the ancient old history of the Oromo culture, the Burenas, which are a nomadic tribe, do not foresee themselves settling permanently in one location due to the process of rite of passage. Wanin wakango da nufi yama da te intan jabe fa chufa da te intan kunun fa chufa chu. Nuama sadarkale gada ke isa sadarka do Oromo jira. Ak Burana ti Burani gada ambula. Ada kaba, ada ni satu ni, ada goro, tak tawa, tak dibayu, tak koruma korbesa, tak dulaja, ada tanir rabula, ada tanah tamane jiratecu, ada tanah akilman korumati, jal kaba sadarkani akilman korumati sena ni sadarka dabalumat. In the stage of dabale, the boy child born during the stage, his hair is not cut until a naming ceremony which takes place on the boy child's eighth birthday. Nunculen Jutino, Tanum Head Rumine, Akarmu Refane, Akarmu da Balletane. During this period, the mother braids her hair from the back with an ornament that indicates that she is the mother to a Debelle boy. This stage process is one of the five eight year periods of the Gada system. Kulma <laughs> Leaving Yabelo and arriving in Debrezait for the celebration of Irecha, a holiday celebrated primarily by the Oromo tribes as a day of giving thanks for the blessing of the harvest and the preceding year. <laughs> Bif tumba ate kanoromo kia atanumba si dole oromia kitame pi udin kabukia amana bagawala gare me amana bagawala gare. Having its historical roots in the Oromo cultural traditions, Eritrea has been celebrated for many centuries as an annual event attracting millions from around Ethiopia, including the various Abagada leaders. Reche, 
aadaa oromoo isa guddaadha sababni isaa oromoo ni akka oromootti ganna dukkana keessa yero malkaan booru yero malkaan guutu yero sana nareeffatu mara baqa ayana weesab singa hinjeda dabalatamu aadaa fiina keenya beeku keenya qaro min hinjeda kanaf It is so surreal to witness the amalgamation of hundreds of thousands of people as far as the eyes can see and beyond of different generations in one location to unanimously praise one god <laughs> tifachu ufni waqa kadachu ufni kada amanti waqe fanna kana ya rabbi nuf cimsi cimsi waqa hundu yu waqe fata hata adan kenya badde nuf ade bitu gadan ku fa kapi o fala in my journey i discovered that in celebration everyone from the children to the elders proudly participate by displaying their cultural attires beautifully woven clothing and well-made beading jewels everything has a meaning and represents regions agani fate fatada sidiqat kinna no shasha manecha uya narai bu uya uya kaba jamara وقعت اذكر كاني ريت بتم كوني بيتش برات it gave my perspective of a peaceful gathering of celebration a whole new meaning seeing thousands of people silently standing and listening to the various community leaders and elders giving thanks and encouragement Ya Rabbi gurracha gara gara bale mu gara tan ila to kicha kitte ba isa male dire tawar soda tun kab do war we li to kab da saya do ban bo ban de sun do ban op ban mari si do ban in tan e utu ban kan ke enta bu kan sikat sirra na bu gofta a nation so spectacular and diverse in its history that dates centuries back no verbiage or imagery does it any justice it is overwhelming to experience this land in its naturalistic forms and discover and unravel its wealth of unique histories in their most authentic states <laughs> A culture widely known for eating raw meat, a holiday would not be a holiday if freshly slaughtered sheep or bulls meat is not at the center of the buffet display. In this case, the bull was cautiously raised for this purpose. <laughs> On display, are various tribal traditions that showcases the diversity of Ethiopia's massive and distinctive Mesca celebration, cultural artifacts and foods. Drink up, eat up, laugh it up, rub shoulders with the who of who of Ethiopian society. It's not about status at this event, but sharing a unique experience. From national soccer players, singers, to community leaders, politicians and prominent business owners 
All of this at the expense of the owner of Yod Abyssinia. Mescal, known to be most colorfully celebrated by the Garagia tribes, it is the main attraction at Yod Abyssinia's holiday festivities. The freshly slaughtered meat is cut into small cubes to be served with warm butter and spices mixed in a small bowl with a side of injera for the guest's enjoyment. Before it leaves the kitchen, few staff taste it to make sure the taste is right. This is culture unfiltered. This is not only the celebration of the finding of the true cross, but also an experience of an ancient nation's mosaic of people and traditional cultures all in one location. The vast 
Lake Tana is not just a source of life, but a gateway to some of Ethiopia's sacred monasteries and churches on islands in the center of the lake that are luscious with green vegetation. Only accessed by boat, these islands are secluded from the modernity that the rest of Ethiopia is experiencing. I love this water, it's warm. Lifestyle on these islands are almost very ancient-like. A rock for a bell as the original one is not reachable, so quiet and serene, with the population of people living on these islands being very small and dedicated to their religion and prosperity of religion. With most of these churches on the island estimated to be nearly 900 years old, Bahazi Mariam's structural building is called Gojubit, which is a traditional Ethiopian homes commonly found in villages and rural towns. Inside of all of these churches, one would find religious paintings said to date back to the days the churches were erected. Still bright, full of great details, and colorful, these illustrations give a detailed insight to the scriptures' descriptions of the beliefs. It is the Bible's word in paintings. Although these churches are ancient, they are living museums with Bibles from centuries and centuries ago, as well as other artifacts that predate anything modern. On these islands, monks have dedicated their lives to their religion and keeping their religion's histories alive. With most of these islands being overwhelmingly quiet and serene compounds, they are very ideal locations for those seeking a moment with God and soul searching. The rock hewing churches of Lalibela are classified into three groups. The first group of churches symbolize earthly paradise or earthly Jerusalem. The second group of churches symbolize heavenly paradise or heavenly Jerusalem. The third group of churches, which is the cruciform church isolated from the two sets of churches, is called Beta Gorgis. Why we call it earthly paradise and heavenly paradise? In the earthly paradise, when we're wandering around, you will feel it. It's easy to go from this to the second one. But in the heavenly paradise, it is a bit complicated. We may go through completely pitch dark tunnel to see how hell is unfriendly. And the second one is to symbolize how the way from hell to heaven is serious or difficult. And then the third thing, even in that moment, we can share the life of the blind people while we go through that beach dark tunnel. Yeah. And then St. George is symbolized with the Noah's Ark. As I told you earlier, we do have three types of churches. Monolithic, semi-monolithic, and echo church. Mm -hmm. This is monolithic mm -hmm. because completely detached from the mother of mm -hmm. and all around Christianity. Mm -hmm. This one is semi-monolithic mm -hmm. because it's still Inside. Attached. It's still attached again as the mother rope. Mm -hmm. It's not totally freestanding. Mm -hmm. And you can look at it on the right and the left side is attaching, the front and the back is freestanding. So we call